Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 player review of the best player in this week's Team of the Week, or the highest rated anyway. It is second in form, Gareth Bale. 91 rated. He comes out of packs as a center forward, which of course is a position change, and most likely you're going to put this guy up front, right? So that's where I played him today. He's got 96 pace, 89 dribbling, 91 shooting, and 87 passing. Six foot tall with high medium work rates. We all know Bale's left footed. He's got the four star skill moves, but he does only have a three star weak foot. So here are the two teams that I have got for you today. The first one, he plays as a lone striker in a 4-3-3 with the likes of Primary Costa and Ronaldinho in the squad as well. And then a slightly more mega team. Uh, I, I like this one a lot. He plays, I mean, just take a look at that front three. That's pretty insane, right? We have Hullet at Cam, Prime version, and then Prime R9 up front alongside Gareth Bale, who plays left striker in the 4-1-2-1-2. So now moving on into the in-game stats. This is the second in form or the third special item for Gareth Bale. Uh, and I, I'm hoping for some good things. And when I actually look at him on basic chemistry style, uh, I'm extremely impressed. You know, there's so many good stats there just across the board. However, today I've gone marksman for my chemistry style choice. Just because uh, I'm fine the, with the fact that he's already got 96 pace. And I don't need to boost the passing when I'm playing him as an out-and-out -out striker. Let's Let's boost the dribbling, the shooting, and the physical stats as high as we possibly can. And well, as you can see, I'm pretty much reaping the rewards. The stats look absolutely ridiculous uh, for Bale today. So, we now move on to the clips. I can show you all of the goals that I was able to get with the Welshman. Uh, and we can talk positives and negatives. So, let's start, as always, with the negative stuff. Um... There's only two, really, and they're two pretty obvious ones, you know, like he's got a low balance stat, which doesn't necessarily affect him too much in-game, but it's just something that is going to make him feel slightly less agile, I don't know, a tiny bit clunky from time to time, uh, but with Gareth Bale, you know, super pacey player that's going to pull away from defenders most of the time, it's not something you're going to notice a huge amount, but it's definitely worth worth picking up on. Um, and then weak foot is the other the other area of his game which just isn't great. Only three star means that anything from outside the box, I'm definitely going to recommend you get on that strong foot. Uh, the, the problem is, everyone knows Bale's a left footed player, right? And quite a, a very left footed player. So they're going to try and cut you off, block you off on that left foot. Um, so if, if you do find yourself on the right foot, let's hope you're inside the box because yeah, you can still probably net a few goals, uh, but, but I, I wouldn't recommend anything outside the outside of the box with the weaker foot. Uh, it's just not going to be worth it. So those are the the negatives about a player like this. Obviously, uh, first positive is that he's a good position change. You know, out from a winger to a, a central player means that he's a lot more a lot more valuable. A lot of people really love the fact that you know a winger can go to a, a centre forward and obviously now be played as. Uh, CDM centre mid cam centre forward or striker uh, mostly people playing him at striker I'm sure but uh, you notice that Bale is a seriously seriously quick player obviously his regular version is as well as have all of all of the different versions of Bale they've all been really rapid uh, but this one obviously is the fastest of the lot. Uh, he, he's got really good acceleration, but where he comes through is with that unreal sprint speed. 97 sprint speed in game is nearly as good as it gets, uh, and it feels about as good as it gets, trust me. Once you get going with Bale, uh, and, and you're doing those long touches and just running onto the ball with that crazy sprint speed, how is anyone supposed to catch him? It's just not even fair. It's ridiculous. Uh, with that, he's also a well-positioned player. I love the fact that he has been moved to the center. Uh, I like playing him as a striker because I feel like he's got he's got the necessary height. He's got strength as well. He's obviously got the crazy pace like we've just mentioned. Uh, but he's got things like good positioning. So he's in the right place to start that run early. Uh, he's also got good passing stats so he can do little one-twos if he's playing in a two-striker formation like I showed you earlier with, with uh, Prime R9. You know, what he can do there is a quick little one-two then get going on the run, get up to that full sprint speed. He's then through on goal and if R9 plays that ball back correct to him, well, there's just not a hope for the defenders because uh, Bale through one-on-one -on, -one on goal is obviously going to do some damage. That 
that is a very nice left foot that he does possess uh, and, and he is able to score lots of good goals with it. Uh, but more importantly, like him on the ball, his first touch is really nice. You know, he takes a good first touch, keeps it in his feet if he wants to or keeps it close to his feet, uh, dribbles with it very well uh, and then sometimes takes that touch and almost gets it out of his feet in the same in the same motion. So like when you're turning, you bring that ball in and then get it out of your feet in a very, very good manner. And that's what Bale can definitely do for you today. Uh, I mentioned his strength. He's a very versatile player. I would happily play him uh, at centre mid. I, I genuinely think he could work there. Uh, and, and any of the positions in, the, in between there up to striker. Uh, but obviously you're going to want to put him up front. Uh, and then with his shooting, I love a little left-footed finesse with Gareth Bale. That seems to go into the top corner a lot. Uh, and then the low-driven shots with lots of power across the goalkeeper. Playing from left striker, cutting it across to the right-hand side. That seems to work really well with him as well. So yeah, uh, he's, he's a noticeable upgrade from his regular item. Whether or not he's a massive upgrade from the previous central inform, uh, it, it seems as though he's most likely not. But still, uh, a very fun player, a nice position change, and obviously one of the, the more crazy uh, and awesome players on this game uh, that you could link to some, some pretty amazing players such as Cristiano Ronaldo and high tier icons. So there you go guys, that is the Sif Bail the review. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.